It's Peter's birthday, and we are seeing if Peter won the cake. Well, it's not exactly his birthday today. His birthday is in two days, but since it's on the weekend. Okay. Let's see if we hear. Turn it up a little. You think you're gonna win? There's more people here. Oh. I think everybody. Oh, we didn't win. It seems like every, the people from Troy always win. Good morning, I've been cleaning up my bedroom so I haven't had time to pick up the camera, but the mail just came and something exciting came. Let's see what's inside of it. Hey, we got our wordly wise. Watch out for Grace. A big air bubble pack. We got oh, wordly oh, wise. We got this is for Lydia. For I bet this, this is Let's see. for you. Um, is that mine? Letters and numbers for me. I think this one's Lydia's. That's yours, Peter. That's your book right there. You Pete got a word, wordly wise. Charity and, and John got new I wordly bet this wise. Is Lydia. Lydia. Yeah. Who's and this? I think this is Peter. I think that one's Peter. And then this is the other one to Lydia. And there's worldly wise. Yeah, we had to get the answer key. This is Peter's. Peter's new spelling book. And then our new is this science. Biology? Do I start it? It is no whoa, 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 whoa. We have to wait until we finish one school year before we start. I'm sorry, Gracie. There's nothing for you. There's nothing in there for you today. The total on all of those books came to 133.29. And that was mostly the one book, which was the biology textbook. That was $41 and change. But CBD was having a great sale on free shipping if you spent $35 or more. And then on top of that, they also had 50% off on, I think it was the Explode the Code books. I think the Explode the Code was 50% off and so were the the Handwriting Without Tear books. So I, even though this is a little early for me to start getting the school books for kids for next year, I decided I was just going to go ahead and get them right now and be done with it. And some of you guys have been telling me you really want to see some more homeschooling type videos. I am going to do a review of all the curriculum that we use past year. Now I did the video of what we were planning on using and I just want to review those and tell the, tell you guys what I liked, what I didn't like, and if I would suggest it for other people to use. Um, and then as soon as I have all of my curriculum for next year, which will be a couple months, yeah, I will also do a go ahead and do a video on that and you guys can see that too. The biology is thicker than the general science. Oh boy, and you guys thought that was bad. No, this wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Okay. I remember your eyes. I think eyes. we're going to need a big okay. massive notebook for this. Mom. You might. Bigger, there's Mommy. longer. The study guides are much longer. Okay, well that's good. You're going to be smart when you finish it. So today's video that went up, I talked about how Art and I are always having problems finding matching shoes for the kids. Even though they have one central location where all the shoes are stored, we still have problems. And so one of you guys sent me a picture of a solution. This is the picture that she sent me. You use coat hooks and then you put the shoes on upside down. We're on our way to the library to return some of the books, but let me just quick give you an overview of some of the books that we read and returned and which ones we liked and which ones we didn't like. This book looked rather enticing to me, but as soon as I started reading it, it was all about being vegan and all the reasons why you shouldn't eat meat. And that just didn't exactly settle that well with me. And the recipes were like tofu and I'm not into tofu. So this book's good for some people, but it wasn't really a big hit for me. John got this book of birds. I think he liked it. Yeah, I liked it. All right, there you have it, he liked it. Art and I both read The Cheapskate Next Door. Very funny, we both enjoyed it, and they're the people are probably as cheap as we are, so. And it's hard to do. Yes. It's really hard to do. <laughs> so if you want a funny book, get this one. This book, the girls loved. Not from a Christian perspective, so there's some evolutionary stuff in it, but I read this, I don't know how many times to the girls and Peter. They're, 
That's right. You liked the moon book, didn't you? Yeah, us too. Peter and I read this, and I actually thought it was very interesting. I learned some things in there that I didn't know, and it was easy reading, too. What was it? I don't know anything about National Geographic. That wasn't mine. We, we love National Geographic. Yeah. Train travel. Yep, that was good. Who all? Yep, we like that one too. Again, National Geographic. This one was fun to read. Very, very basic. Good for four, five, and six year olds. What was it? Stink Pugs was very interesting. We read that um, several times. Yes, read that one a lot. And then Earth Movers. You would never guess who this book belonged to. Yep, you're right. It belonged to Peter, and he enjoyed it. We are back from running a few errands, and my roast is done. I didn't even tell you guys I was making a roast, but I made a roast. And if you guys haven't made this one, I, it's been a long time since I've made it. They go crazy. But this is the one where you put it in the oven, and you cook it at high heat for, um, I think it's seven minutes per pound, and then you turn off the oven and don't open the door, and you leave it shut for two and a half hours, and it's supposed to come out perfect. So this is what it looks like. There it is. Oh, it looks delicious. It smells delicious. I can't wait to cut it open and try it. I was just slicing up the roast and I had a little taste of it and it is amazing. This is one of my favorite ways to cook a roast other, if I don't want it to be like falling apart and using um, cream soups, this is my other way to cook roasts. And I don't buy roasts a lot, but now that we buy a cow, I get a little, a few more roasts than normal. But let me show you how it looks cut open. Look at that. It is so delicious. Now I cook this a little bit longer because Art likes it not so pink in the middle. So this is a little bit more on the medium to well done side. But it is just absolutely fabulous. It tastes wonderful. Mm, mm, mm. So hungry. Can't wait for dinner. I discovered a little problem when I went down the basement. The uh, freezer door was open an inch or so and some meat thawed out uh, and it started leaking and then, well, it made a mess. A few of our meats got thawed out so it looks like we're going to be having some sirloin steak in our near future and then there were three livers that thawed out which is just kind of disgusting. Once they thaw out you can't uh, refreeze them so we're going to have to cook what we have so we got three livers that are going to be cooked, and no, we're not going to eat it. Janelle said what we're going to do is uh, puree it, and then put it in little cubes, and then every time we have hamburger or something, we're going to throw a few cubes in there, and nobody will ever know it. And we'll get our good nutrients from the liver, and we won't even know it's there. For dinner today we're having salad and some green beans cooked in soy sauce, those are yummy, and some of mommy's homemade bread, and some roast and some carrots. And you can see we have our candles, we're having a peaceful meal tonight. We decided we needed peace. That, that sounds creepy doesn't it? Okay, well anyway, we want to have a peaceful meal. At the end of the peaceful meal, we snuff out the candles, and the kids have never seen a candle snuffer used before, so they were all excited about that. Did you enjoy the peaceful meal? I did. It actually made the food taste really good. Yes, it did. Did you enjoy the peaceful meal, Lydia? Is it, does food taste better when it's peaceful? I think so too.